Adria Matrix 670SL. It's on a Fiat Ducati chassis. It's a 2.3 litre diesel engine, 130 brake horsepower. It's just under seven and a half meters long. It's three and a half thousand kilograms. It's a four stroke, five berth motorhome with five belted seats. So we've got the single fixed beds at the back, which can be made up into a double. And then as I work my way along, we've got the shower area and we've got a toilet. We have the kitchen area with Hobbs grill oven and sink, full size fridge freezer. And then moving towards the front then, we have our dinette area. So, Adria Matrix, let's set this bad boy up. So let's work our way around the van. So first thing we come to is our electric hookup. So now we've got 2.30 going into the van. Moving on, that's our flue for the heating and hot water system. And then we've got our gas, which will turn the gas on. And then I'll press that in on the hose and also on the regulator. So we'll make our way now down to the garage. And I'll show you a couple of drain offs in the garage. So the first drain off I'm gonna show you is for the fresh water tank. So we have our fresh water tank behind here. And then if you can just see inside, you've got a black wheel. Let me get my fingers to it there, a black wheel. So if you can see the black wheel there, that's the drain off of the fresh water tank. And then we have our little diagram there on the side. That tells us if we just turn it that'll drain the fresh water down so now if i make my way to the middle of the garage and what you'll see is you'll see the pump and then just to the side of that you'll see a gray lever you can just see that there now that's another drain off for draining off all the pipes And now our waste drain off is passenger side behind the back wheel. If you can just see, there's the drain off and there's our lever for draining down the waste tank. So we'll carry on down the driver's side now. And here we have our fresh water filler. So we obviously undo the cap and then we can fill up the fresh water tank from here. Moving on, we have our cassette toilet. There's our cassette toilet. And then what we'll do now is we'll go inside and get it all primed up because we've put a gas on, we've filled a fresh water tank up. We've also um, put a hook up into the van, so we're getting 2.30 coming into the van. So what we'll do now is we'll set up the Adria. Okie dokie. So first thing we need to do is to go to the control panel. And that's located above the fridge freezer. It doesn't look like a control panel, but let's bring it to life. So if we just press here, that brings the panel on. It is all touch screen. So that's for our lights. That's for our awning. Now here is our vehicle battery. That's our leisure battery. Now this one here, that looks like a level sensor. It's not really. It's for telling you what amps we're pulling in and out. And then we've got our temperature inside, temperature outside, our waste, our fresh water. That's telling us we have um, 2.30 coming into the van and that's our pump. So what we'll do first of all is we'll prime up the system. So let's prime up um, our, all our taps and get some water into the hot water tank. So we'll press the pump. You can hear the pump going and we'll go to the tap. So now we're all primed up. If you can hear the pump, the pump's still carrying on because it's automatically filling up the water heater and there it's gone off. So now we're primed up on the water side. So what we'll do now is we'll get some gas coming through basically. So we'll go to our hobs.
There we go. Gas has come through now. There's a second. And we'll just do the third one. So there we go, we've got the gas coming through on the hobs. And then we have got a grill and oven, which I'll just quickly show you down here. So there's our oven, and then I'll move over to the grill. And there's the grill. Okie dokie, we've got our water's all primed up, and we've got the gas, all the gas coming through. So we've got the gas and the water primed up, so we'll move on to the fridge. So let's get the fridge freezer working. So this is an automatic one, so it'll find electric first, which that it's found. We can move over onto gas. And there we go. If you can just hear that now. There we go, that's lit. Now if I put it onto battery, it will fault. It's because we haven't got the engine running. So if I move it back to gas, and then what we can do, we can adjust the temperature with this button. So now we've got the fridge um, freezer working on the gas. So we'll move on. Now in this van, we do have an electric drop down bed. Dead simple. All we've got, we've got the button here by the control panel. And then what we do, we just press it down. Now before I do take it all the way down, this, fr this fridge, this um, bed will go down to here. We do have to take these off, um, but I'll just show you how it coming down. So there's our drop down bed and then we can just lift it back up again. If you're not using um, the bed, and you know, well basically if you're not using the van at all, just try and leave a bit of separation from the mattress to the roof just to let the circulation of air to flow through basically. So, and what I'll do is I'll stop any moisture. Why I'm here, I will just show you the um, fly screens and blinds. So, here are our fly screens, and then we've got our blinds, which we can take up, bring them back down, and then a little catch there undoes them to go up. And then we've got our windows, and then we can open. Did you hear the click? That's the first setting. Second one, third one, and then to close, take the window all the way up and bring it back down. So there's your windows. So as I'm working my way down the van, we've done the, we've shown you the control panel, shown the electric bed, we've got the fridge on, now we've got the Truma heating. So to operate that, we just hold that on. Now what we've got there, that's our little electric plug shown as we've got 230 coming into the van. First uh, symbol is inside temperature. We'll just put that back on again. So we'll okay that. You see how it says off. We can take this up to 30. But we'll, we'll put it on around about what? 18. Okay that. This is for a water now. So it's off at the moment. And we can go right the way up to 60. 40, 60 and boost, we'll okay that. And then this is our source. So we can either have electric on two kilowatts, one kilowatt, a mixture of gas and electric, and a mixture of gas and electric on one kilowatt, or we can just have gas only. So we'll put that on electric because we've got a hook up in the van. And then this is our fan for pushing the blown air around the van. We can have eco, high, and we'll have that on eco and then that takes it back to the main screen. Now the reason why them two are flashing is because the van hasn't reached the temperature that we've picked and also the hot water hasn't got to 60 degrees either. We've also got the front skylight as well. So we can undo that and that opens it up and then we can tighten these up here to however much we want it open. Just 
don't do that. And then we do our fly screens and blinds. Right, so what I'll do is I'll show you the bathroom. And I really like this, this little cabinet. We press in there, that slides across, and then we have three shelves. And then we also have power in here as well. We can slide that back. So we've got the toilet. Now with this, the flush works from the fresh water tank and uses the pump. So that sends the water around. And then we have a little grey, grey lever below, which we can open up and close it. So we're at the back now. Um, what I do like again, we've got a little touch light. And then we've got our single beds. Now there is loads of storage, so just show you. Look at all the storage we've got there, as well as the garage. So that's an added bonus. And also, we have the same the other side. Good storage area, as well as we've got the garage. And what I do like about these beds, if you want to chill out in bed and have a lie in and watch the tally, we can lift this up. <laughs> and what I do like about these beds, just let me show you if you want to have a lie in. Can lift this up here, can you see the little slats? Put it down like that. And we can watch the telly. And then just to bring them back down, we lift them up, takes them back down. How good's that? Now we do have a skylight as well, which we press the button in and that lifts it up, or we could have it at certain angles. And then we take that back and it's closed. And again, we do have blinds and fly screen. So we'll make our way forward and we'll just, oh, hang on. We do have a little storage hatch here. We'll just lift that up. We can store any possessions in. Put that back down. And now our hot water tank drain off. So we've got the forward facing seat. If I just open this, what you can see here now is our drain off. Now, a lot of people um, forget about this. You've got a button there and then you've got your diamond switch there. Now, when I turn that, that button comes out. So in order to close it again, I must turn that, and press the button in. So don't forget to press the button in on that. Now that drains down your hot water tank. Right, there's a couple more things I need to show you. So the seat by the habitation door, just up there. Just push that forward, lifts up. So what we've got under here, we have our leisure battery, we have our 230, and then we also have our 12 volts. And this is also the battery charger as well. So there you go, setting up your Adria um, matrix. So I pretty much showed you how to do everything. You've got your water, your heating, your fridge, showed you how to drain your van down. Um, but having set this van up, it's a really nice family van. It's actually a very versatile van because it could be used for family. It could be used for just two people. It's an ideal motorhome for going away for weeks and months on end because you've got your electric drop down bed. You've got your single beds at the back. Um, the other, you can actually make another bed here where the dinette is and then you've got your separate shower and toilet and then with your kitchen area. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, subscribe to us, hit the like button um, as well and we'll look forward to showing you another motorhome.